On September 20, 1912, a group of five drivers from the Charles W. Young Company arrived in San Francisco after a grueling 91-day journey from Philadelphia, celebrating the first transcontinental delivery made by over-the-road trucking. Shoppers who purchased the newly delivered bars of olive oil soap walked away with armfuls, as paper shopping bags would only be invented later that year. In fact, these two developments were very closely related. As the trucking industry grew, stores could stock more on their shelves, and shoppers needed new ways to get their growing shopping lists back home. As ubiquitous as the shopping bag is today, it is not without its limitations. A grocery clerk knows from experience that one bag is not always enough. It's a lesson that costs the grocer one gallon of milk and a plastic grocery bag. But what about the truck operator? Not all loads and roads are alike. When a vehicle's axles are pushed beyond their limit, there is a similar lesson to learn at a much higher cost. Cummins is committed to preventing the unexpected downtime and associated costs of axle failure by ensuring sales professionals, fleet managers, and operators ask the right questions when outfitting a commercial vehicle. When discussing weight with a customer, first ask, is that the gross weight or is that just the payload? Selecting the right axle for a vehicle requires attention to detail and confusing the gross weight and payload may lead to a costly overload. Like a plastic bag stretching and tearing, the axles of a line haul equipped vehicle can experience premature wear or fatigue fractures if used outside of the truck's intended capacity, such as in construction or logging applications. To determine the capacity required, first identify the gross vehicle weight or the total weight of the fully equipped vehicle with the payload. To determine the expected payload weight on its own, deduct the curb weight or the weight of the vehicle with standard equipment only, including maximum fuel, oil, coolant, and other required fluids. The difference is the additional weight a vehicle can carry, the payload capacity. If the gross vehicle weight rating indicates the maximum amount of weight the vehicle can support, the gross axle weight is the total weight allowed on a specific axle position. For example, a tandem set of axles rated for 40,000 pounds can carry 40,000 pounds together and not 40,000 on each axle. It is also important to ensure that the gross axle weight over any axle does not exceed its gross axle weight rating. Limitations that reference a gross combination weight refer to the total loaded weight of a truck or tractor with its trailer or trailers combined. Customers and salespeople always need to consider all of an axle's specifications carefully, including the gross vehicle weight rating. It is important to understand that premature damages sustained while working outside the axle's intended capacity may not be covered under warranty. Beyond weight and capacity, truck components are also rated for their intended environment. To choose the right axle configuration for your job, ask what is the expected route road grade, and terrain. Consider a shopper who selects a paper bag for their groceries. They enjoy more volume than a plastic alternative, and they have peace of mind knowing that they made a more sustainable choice. But what if it rains on the way home? They may be left wishing that they had chosen a hardier alternative. Similarly, no axle is suitable for every road condition. As axles become more advanced, they become more specialized. The highest efficiency axles designed for increased fuel economy may be the ideal solution under a number of road conditions. But on hilly terrains with higher grades or unpaved roads with higher rolling resistances, higher capacity axles are required to overcome these challenging environments. Remember that each axle is designed specifically for its intended application and operating outside of these applications may result in costly downtime and expensive repairs not covered under warranty. To determine the most appropriate axle for any job, it helps to define the expected road conditions using one of four classifications. Turnpikes are well-maintained highways of concrete or asphalt with maximum grades up to 3.5%. 
On-highway travel is defined by concrete or asphalt with maximum grades up to 8%, requiring more torque to move the truck. On-highway mountain defines secondary roads of concrete, asphalt, or well-maintained gravel with maximum grades up to 12%. And off-highway conditions include maintained crushed rock or other hard surfaces with maximum grades as high as 20%. These adverse physical conditions put more strain on the axle's internal gearing and bearing systems. For example, line haul axles are rated for grades up to 8% on pavement, concrete, or maintained and hard-packed gravel. This means the damage sustained by these axles in an off-highway environment may not be covered under warranty. Please note that beyond road conditions, additional environmental factors, such as a job site's maximum axle loading, also need to be considered for every vehicle. Not all goods are made to transport conveniently, regardless of route. When this happens, we offer special solutions and configurations. In these instances, ask, how does the vehicle operation and payload impact the structural durability of the drive axle? Of the available configurations, outset wheels have exploded in popularity since the introduction of wide base single tires. This allows the wheel track to be shifted away from the center of the axle, placing higher loads on the housing spindle and wheel bearings. Meritor dual track housing is one option that allows the use of wide base single tires without the need of outset wheels. While outset wheels are still permitted, the amount of allowable wheel outset is restricted per the TP9441 and should be strictly followed. Auxiliary axles offer additional configurations to increase a vehicle's gross vehicle weight rating. However, they may exceed the axle housing's gross axle weight rating when lifted. To prevent damage, liftable axles must only be raised to improve maneuverability in off-highway use or when the vehicle is unloaded. Only raise liftable axles when it is safe and legal to transfer the load to the remaining axles on the road. When on the job site with a lifted axle, always abide by the axle's strict gross axle weight rating for site travel, low speed restrictions, and the frequency for which the auxiliary axle may be raised. Please review TP9441 for site travel requirements. Specific vehicle configurations are also available for payloads with a high center of gravity. Auto haulers, tankers and logging vehicles should be equipped with axle housings that include a heavy 11 mm wall thickness. These specialized housings are designed to handle these potentially damaging loads. A vehicle suspension type can also impact the loads placed on the axle housing. A reactive suspension uses the axle housing as part of the suspension system, inducing high torsional loads. Based on the gross axle weight rating and where the vehicle is being used, such as in Canada, the axle may require a housing with a heavier wall thickness. A non-reactive suspension does not use the axle as a suspension element, but still requires adherence to the application guidelines to avoid unnecessary downtime. High articulation or vocational suspensions along with narrow suspension mounting centers can place extreme loads into the housing and require heavy wall thickness as well. Over-the-road trucking has come a long way since the first transcontinental delivery. A job that once took months can now be reliably completed in days, as line haul trucks carry food, goods and finished materials more efficiently than ever. This is thanks to components that continue to evolve at a tremendous rate, diversifying and improving to become more efficient and specialized for every application. It is also why it is more important than ever to ensure the right axle is selected for each job. Specking a vehicle to use specialized or high-efficiency axles offers tremendous benefits when used appropriately. Failure to use any component for its intended purpose, on the other hand, may result in damages that may not be covered under warranty. Because of this, even trusted components and their warranty should be monitored for changes over time, as they also continue to improve and specialize. 
careful consideration reduces downtime and avoidable costs to ensure everyone receives what they need when they need it. We are dedicated to your success. To spec the correct axle for your job, select or visit these helpful resources.